Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel this week. Uh, my name is Amy and I live in Arizona and this is my channel about cross stitch. Sometimes I share a little crafting, a little haul, um, and maybe some fun things I've been doing. Just life updates basically and I'm so glad you joined me. Um, I just love visiting with you each week and I value your friendship so much. All right, well, let's get started. So um, it's been two weeks since I've actually visited with you uh, with an update and um, let's see what's happened. I had my 29th wedding anniversary with my husband and um, time flies so fast. I can't even believe it. It's like you know, when you had that turning point where you've been married longer than you were single, it's definitely interesting to think about that. And, um, so, um, I guess that's a telltale of my age. <laughs> I'm going to be turning 50 this year, big five zero and the summer. And, um, at first it was kind of a hard thought, but I'm, I'm coming into it. I'm getting used to the idea and, um, it's just a number and it's not a representation of anything but that. So <laughs> 50 years of experience. Anyway, I'm probably not making any sense. Moving on. <laughs> um, I wanted to um, talk to you about my stitching. Um, I haven't had a lot of stitching as far as cross stitch this past two weeks. I've been doing a lot of sewing of costumes for my daughter and son's uh, Polynesian group. They're getting ready to put on a big production next week and they um, needed some help sewing some costumes. Some costumes they had made um, in American Samoa and sometimes they'll just need a little bit of um, altering like taking them in if they're a little too big um, or if they're a little too long. Um, they're always beautiful when they come from over there. It's just a little minor alterations on those just to get them the perfect fit. Since the girls aren't in American Samoa, we send over the measurements. And so sometimes they seem to be tweaked a little bit, but they're always so gorgeous. And uh, my son-in-law's mother and father um, in American Samoa, they uh, take the time to go pick out the fabrics and find a um, sewing shop there and choose a design and they have um they have great taste they are always so beautiful but uh i usually do hemming on the the boys the men's um lava lavas and like i said little minor alterations sometimes i help uh design um costumes that my daughter has created or um ideas she has and so i'll insert a few little pictures here um, I can't show too much this week because um, they're keeping their costumes kind of a secret until they perform next week. Uh, so once they put their production together and it goes live and um, then I'll be able to share more pictures of them and maybe I'll share a link to some videos. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so that took up a lot of my stitchy time. Um, you know, it ha comes around, you know, once a year and I kind of really dive in to help with that. And they've had a lot of practices at my house and, um, the kids have been over more this past two weeks and, um, which I love. And so, um, that's kind of been my life update. Um, we did have, um, some visitors down over at the attic, uh, contented stitcher, Kim came into town and it was so fun meeting her in real life. I've, I've only met her through zoom and watched all of her videos and it was so fun to meet her in person. She is as sweet in person as she is on camera. And, um, it was really nice meeting her and um, I'll insert some pictures later at the end of the video. Um, of, we took a picture together and um, it was a lot of fun. I also got to meet several of you. Um, I believe um, uh, one of you who came in was, um, I think Charlie. I hope I didn't get your name wrong. If I did, I'm so sorry. 
it was crazy on Friday with all the hustle and bustle and um, my memory is horrible but she just got back from Texas safe and sound and she said she was lucky enough not to lose power like so many of you did and um, we're glad she made it back to Arizona safely um, and uh, yeah so let's move on into my cross stitch I've got some notes here if you see me I'm looking down I'm trying to not forget anything <laughs> since I spoke to you last um, Okay, let's just go right into some stitching for now, and then we'll go back to some more updates. I have a lot of fun stuff for today. Okay, so the stitching I did get finished this past two weeks. Um, let me get over here. All right, so I started a new um, stitching project uh, just for Easter. Um, it's from Stitching with the Housewives. It's called uh some of their tiered trade tidbits and it's called fan oh carrot seeds and i just have a black and white picture of it um so it's not a very nice picture and um but um i'll insert a nicer color picture here i'm stitching it on um, with some call the call for threads so mostly i believe and um just on some Ada, Black Ada head is um, Artiste Black Ada 14 count Zweigart base. Just real simple, quick, easy, fun stitch. So there's my progress. It's really cute. The colors are just really going to pop on this fabric. Maybe if I put it on this board, I think it might um, show better. And um, let me show you some of the color palette. There's uh, okay, so it calls for like deep sea blue. Isn't that pretty blue color? Um, queen B clay pot. Four leaf clover and uh, caramel and the orange which is really pretty is called embers and all the colors just pop on this black so I'm really excited it's gonna be um, a really fun um, bright um, project when it's finished so I stitched on that. Okay, so the next um, project I said I was going to start and I was going to sew was Heartstring Samplery um, Cross Stitch Nation. And I was picked it up to stitch on it and I just wasn't feeling it. Um, even though I think the pattern is adorable, I just wasn't, I'm not really in the mood and there's so many things that I want to stitch more, I think right now. So I'm just going to put it away, um, put it back in my drawer, um, and save it until later. Um, and I actually picked out the, I had like four little flowers of the border done on top and I just picked it all out because I want to save the linen in case there's a project I need it for. Um, and so this is just going to go back in my stash and um, I'll save it and maybe I'll want to do it more later. But I just really feel like if you're not feeling something and it's not calling to you, don't waste your product and time and be miserable. I, like I said, it's nothing against the pattern or the design. It's fabulous. It's just I'm not feeling it. So um, I'm going to put that back in my stash. <laughs> That's how it goes around here. <laughs> um, except grandma's. I don't believe I stitched on this since I showed it to you last. But just in case I did, I'm going to show it to you again. Um, I do want to show you, mind you, my progress. Um, so... My light is kind of making it wonky. Anyway, super cute. Hope to stitch on that more this week. 
and somebody's going to call four colors on that. And then my Kringles, I want to show you my progress on that. I'm stitching on the call for linen, call for using the call for floss. I'm stitching um, one thread over two. Or I'm no, am I stitching two threads? Oh no, two threads. I think. Yeah, two threads over two linen threads. And I got all the black done in the roof. I have a lot of the brown done. And I did all this cream ivory right here around the window and this, the gate or ironwork. And <clears throat> the roof is a beast. It's taking a long time. <laughs> But it has, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not, it's, it's enjoyable. I just watch a show, listen and stitch on it. And it's actually, it's not bad. I mean, it's a lot, but it's not like it's painful. <laughs> it's just a lot. Okay. So that's my stitching for this week. Uh, except for I did stitch on, um, I made a strawberry, my very first strawberry. I'm addicted. I am addicted. I stitched a blackbird. Uh, let me show you the pattern. In this book, In Friendship's Way, there is a strawberry by Blackbird Designs <clears throat> that I stitched. It's on the back cover, actually. It's right here. And it's called... I think it's called Mildred Strawberry. Yes, Mildred Strawberry on page 27 is my very first strawberry I've ever made, and I have the strawberry stitching bug. It is so fun. The only thing I have to say is I wish I would have watched some tutorials first. I've heard that Vana uh, does a great strawberry tutorial, and um, I didn't, I wish I would have stuffed this tip with, um, really tightly with some like batting or whatever to make it really hard and pointed and then put the walnut shells in. Then I put a little piece of batting um, on top to kind of keep the walnut shells in there. And um, I don't have it with me. It was a gift. And so, but here are some pictures of my finished project. And for my first strawberry, I love it so much. The ghost, I, I did kind of like ghost lettering for the years, almost the same color as the linen. Um, I chose my own color for the, for all of it. I didn't have any of the call for colors. I did use a call for linen to stitch it. And the call for linen that uh, I used was Lakeside, um, 36 count meadow rue. And, and then I just chose my own con threads and it was such a quick stitch. Turned out so adorable. And now I have the strawberry bug. So you might see, be seeing a lot of strawberries come through the pipeline now because, they, it was so cute and I loved it so much. I might stitch it again for myself. <laughs> um, let me share with you the colors I used on it. I used, um, classic color works, brown hen, um, gentle arts, lamb's wool. And old blue jeans. I think those were the three colors I used on it. And, um, turned out super cute. I love it. Okay. So that was one finish. Um, I can't recall if I shared with you my, uh, Mother's Honor Do by Blackbird Designs, but I love it so much. I'm going to share it with you again. So bear with me. Um, I finished it. I just need to get it framed. I added my mom and my name on it. And, um, I love it so much. I just, I just need to get it framed. So, yay. Um, hopefully that will get framed soon. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. It's, I'm like having allergies today, I think. And it's just going wacky. All right. Now, we had a winner, um, from... I showed on my last regular update video, I was at a, um, 
give away this cross stitch magazine. It's the new spring issue and um, for April 26, 2021 and April 2021 issue and I have a winner and the winner is Kathy Harris. I'm going to put your uh, comment here on the screen and thank you so much Kathy for being a subscriber and watching my videos and your comments. I love it. I appreciate it so much. So email me at the email address here on the screen or post it down below this video and I will mail you your magazine. So thank you so much, Kathy. Okay, um, this week I do have another giveaway. I cross-stitched this um, last year and it's called the Black and White Spring Sampler by Heart and Hand. And I finished it as a pillow. It was a kit. It came with the fabric and the rickrack and, and the threads. Everything came in this uh, pattern. But since I stitched it, you're not going to get that kit. You're just getting this pattern only for the top here. It's called Spring Sampler and by Hard Hand. And uh, so if you're interested in winning this chart, then use the word sampler in your comment below. I'll use a YouTube ra random comment picker to choose a name. You do need to be a subscriber. I do take the time to check and see if you're a subscriber. And also uh, like the video for me, please. And we will choose this winner, the next uh, video, update video I, I have. Okay. Um, last video, um, I showed this bowl that I bought at an estate sale and several of you told me it was it's called Carnival Glass. So thank you so much for letting me know. And I decided I'm going to make this my uh, strawberry bowl. And so I threw, um, it's a pillow in there for now that I made, and then some strawberries. I, I bought this um, from the attic summer school, the strawberry. Isn't that cute? Look at that little... Um, I don't know it's not why it's not coming and showing up. <clears throat> it's got a little like measuring tape um, ribbon on top. And isn't that cute? It's like felt velvet. And then I bought this one. This I got it this week. And it's got made from Chanel and it's got a real stick on top and a little twine. And I bought this from the Woolen Willow, and she sent this cute little paper clip. Um, cute little, little paper clip for free on there. And then there's her logo. So that's my strawberry, and then I'm going to start making strawberries. I'm going to fill this bowl up, and then I'm going to have to find a new bowl because... I love strawberries so much. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll move into Stitchy Kindness. Um, I'm not going to give her name on um, this video, but she knows who she is. I already thanked her. And she gave me a project bag. And check out, it's got a cute little vinyl pocket. So you can just take a picture and insert it in here of whatever project you're working on. I've already been using it for the my strawberry stuff. And look at the pretty fabrics she used. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And the birds. I especially love this blue color on it. It really pops. And thank you so much. It was so kind and generous of you. I love it. And then I got another cross, uh, project bag. Look how pretty this is. It is a large bag. So I love it because I have a lot of big projects I can put in here. And thank you so much for this project bag from Kim. I love it, love it, love it. And um, I also was given this. Isn't this cute? A little heart, pretty blue bead scissor fob. Maybe if I come over here. Oh, there you go. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I love it so much. This is my first scissor fobbling. And I can see why people are addicted. It's gorgeous. So I was so spoiled. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. And now um, I think I'm going to show you a little bit of haul. Um, my stitchy haul for this week. I bought um, three patterns. 
and um, from the attic. And this one is by With Thy Needle and Thread, and it's called Needle and Thread. And I love, look at her hips. Really, I love that. <laughs> she has a little tomato and spools of thread sitting on her hips. Her little hat. It's just so cute. I don't know if I'll do the buttons or maybe I'll make some more of those flowers where the buttons are. I don't know. I haven't decided. So I got that pattern. And I also bought Summer at Cherry Hill by With I Need On Thread and Oh Tannenbaum. I should go this way. And at the attic, they have a few of the boxes. So I bought the box. They have a few more left. Um, but she might be able to get more. I'm not sure. But she has some right now still. So I bought the box. So if I, I don't know if I'm going to finish it in the box. But I thought if I don't use it to finish the cross stitch, I can put it in a drawer and put stuff in it. So I bought it anyway just in case. Because you never, you never know. Okay, I have a little bit of non-stitchy haul. I won't I won't take too long. I went to Home Goods and I found a Ray Dunn Happy Easter big huge egg. <laughs> and I'm gonna put change out and put a cute um, Easter bow on this. And then I got um, this glass basket, the, the pink basket it says Easter on it. I thought that'd be really cute to fill. Um, eventually if I get a bunch of Easter, um, I'm thinking like Easter peeps parade or the Easter parade by Brenda Gervais. If I get all those pillows done, wouldn't that be so cute in here sitting out on my Easter decorations? And then I went back and I found another one and it says peep on it. <laughs> it's a light pink color. <laughs> and then, um, it's smaller. I also found this and it says tweet heart. And I thought that was super cute. So that's my uh, non-stitchy haul. Okay, so here's an announcement. So Julie reached out to me and she said she was struggling getting her Coming to America finished as well. And wanted to know if I, she, if, um, I wanted to do a Zoom with her, a Zoom meeting and stitch. Um, she lives here locally in Arizona. And she said, wouldn't it be great if we could get other people here in Arizona um, to kind of meet up on Zoom. And then that way after the pandemic, when it's easier to gather, we could meet in real life. And I'm like, absolutely, I would love that. So Julie offered to host a Zoom meeting and we're calling it, um, we're calling it Coming to America Stitchy Support. <laughs> stitching support coming to America stitching support and um, I thought that was a great idea and then I asked her well are we gonna limit it to only people who are stitching coming to America and she was like no we don't have to limit um, limit that and so if you would like to join us we're not gonna be able to have a ton we don't want the zoom to be too big um, so um, I'm gonna leave that up to her how many people um, that she accepts into the zoom um, because if you get too many people, you can't really see and meet everybody. And then we're going to do it regularly. And so maybe we'll just, um, if there's a lot of response to many people, then we'll just kind of maybe take turns or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to put Julie email address here on the screen. And it will also be below the video in the show notes. And if you would like to join us for the Coming to America Stitching Support or if you just want to come and join us um, and stitch something else, that's fine. Um, it will be held on Wednesday at uh, 6 p.m. Arizona time. And we're sorry if that's so late for some of you on the East Coast, but um, she works and isn't able to do it earlier. Uh, so it will be 6 p.m. Arizona time on Wednesday, the 24th of March. And um, you just need to email her. And she will be sending out the information on how to join us. Okay? So that will be a lot of fun. And I hope that you can join us. And I look forward to setting up local meetings um, in the future. In the near future. Because I think it, we're going to get to the point where we can open up 
here real soon. So, uh, that's that news. And, um, I think that pretty much wraps up everything for this week. Again, thank you so much. I love you all so much for watching and being my uh, YouTube friends. And I hope to keep, continue to keep meeting you in the future. And um, take care and have fun stitching this week. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> I'm the worst. I always do this. I wanted to mention a couple of people's YouTube videos this week. I wanted to mention... Um, <clears throat> Elizabeth can stitch. She has a awesome video on making project bags and that's so kind of her to take the time to do that. And it's really fun and helpful. And I really appreciate her doing that. So check out her videos. And also I wanted to share with you Kindred Stitcher. I'm sure you watch her as well. She's amazing and has beautiful projects. And, um, I really appreciate after doing these videos, I really appreciate other YouTubers because I know how much time and energy goes into making these videos. Um, it takes a good half a day to film and edit and upload these videos. So thank you so much to Kindred Stitcher and Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. I uh, just wanted to give them a shout out and tell them how much I love their channel and to keep making videos. All right. Thank you. Bye.